Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the number system. In early days, when there were no means of counting, people used to count with the help of fingers, stones, pebbles, sticks, etc. These methods were not adequate and had many limitations. Many number systems were introduced with the passage of time like the decimal number system, the binary number system, the octal number system and the hexadecimal number system. Who is he? He is Aryabhat, ancient India's great mathematician and an expert in astronomy. He introduced the concept of zero without which modern computer technology would be non-existent. Okay, so first let us start with the decimal number system. The need for counting has paved the path to introduce decimal number system in which 10 digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 9 are used to form any number. Most of our arithmetic operations are performed with decimal numbers. It consists of 10 digits, that is 0 to 9 with the base 10. Okay, let us quickly learn about the base or radix. The base of the number system is the number of digits used in it. For example, since the decimal number system uses 10 digits, its base is 10. Each number can be used individually or they can be grouped to form a numeric value. Example 82, minus 256, 52.87, etc. The value of each digit in a number depends upon the following the face value of the digits, the base of the number system, the position of the digit in the number. For example, the number 547 can be understood in powers of its base by 7 into 10 to the power 0 in its unit's place gives us 7. 4 into 10 to the power 1 in tens place is 40 and 5 into 10 to the power 2 in hundreds place is 500. When we add this up, we get a total of 547. From this we observe that the positional value of each digit increases 10 folds as we move from right to left. In the above given example, 5, 4 and 7 are the face values of digits and their place values are hundreds tens and ones respectively. The face value depends on the position of the digit in the number. Students, can you quickly recall which number system we use? Now let us find out about the binary number system. The binary number system consists of only two digits, 0 and 1. Since this system uses two digits, it has the base 2. All digital computers use this number system and convert the data input from the decimal format into its binary equivalent. Now students, why should we use binary? Since the computer is made up of electronic components, it can have only two states, either on, one or off, zero. The data which is given to the computer is converted into binary form because a computer understands only binary language. It further converts the binary results into their decimal equivalents for output. Okay, now let us find out how the decimal number is converted into binary system. The equivalence between binary and decimal numbers can be understood with the given examples. The rules to be followed are Divide the given decimal number with the base 2. Write down the remainder and divide the quotient again by 2. Repeat the step 2 till the quotient is 0. Let us understand the conversion of decimal number into binary number with the given examples. Example 1. When we divide 25 by 2, we get quotient 12 and remainder 1. Dividing 12 by 2, we get quotient 6 and 0 remainder. Dividing 6 by 2 gives us question 3 and 0 remainder. We keep on dividing till we get question 0. Thus, 
25 in decimal can be written as 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 in binary. Remainders which are obtained in each step are written in reverse order to form the binary equivalent of a decimal number. Example 2. Dividing 321 by 2 gives us question 160 and remainder 1. Dividing 160 by 2 gives us question 80 and remainder 0. So we keep on dividing till we get question 0. So, 321 in decimal is written as 10100000001 in binary. Now we shall learn how to convert from binary number to decimal number. To convert a binary number into decimal number, follow the given steps. Multiply each binary number with 2 having the power 0 for unit reposition. Starting from the extreme right digit, increase the power 1 by 1, keeping the base fixed as 2. Sum up all products to get the decimal number. Example 1. Convert 1010 in binary to decimal. In the units place, we have 0, so 0 multiplied by 2 raised to 0 gives us 0. In the tens place, we have 1, so 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 1 gives us 2. In the hundreds place, we have 0, so 0 multiplied by 2 raised to 2 gives us 0. And in the thousandth place, we get 8. Adding the decimals, we get 1, 1. Thus, 1, 0, 1 in binary can be written as 10 in decimal. Example 2. Convert 1001 in binary to decimal. From the units place, we get 1. From the tens place, we get 0. From the hundreds place, we get another 0. And from the thousands place, we get 8. Thus, 1001 in binary can be written as 9 in decimal. Example 3. Convert 11001001 in binary to decimal. Starting from extreme right, we multiply the binary number with 2, having the power 0 for unitary position. In this way, we keep 1 increasing the power 1 by 1, keeping the base fixed. We sum up all the products and we get decimal number 393. Thus, 1100-01001 in binary can be written as 393 in decimal. Students, let us have a discussion on why we use binary number systems in computers. Okay, now let us learn about the octal number system. The octal number system consists of 8 digits, that is 0 to 7 with the base 8. The procedure of octal to decimal conversion is similar to binary to decimal conversion. The only difference is the change of base. Hexadecimal number system This number system contains 16 symbols and therefore has the base 16. It uses the digits 0 to 9 and A to F. Let us now find out what computer arithmetic is. As computer understands only binary language, the data given by the user is converted into binary language for processing. This processing may involve various kinds of arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. on binary numbers. Now let us find out how binary addition takes place. The technique used to add binary numbers inside the computer is very easy and simple. This is performed in the same way as you perform addition with decimal numbers. The following table illustrates the addition of two binary digits. A plus B gives C. 0 plus 0 gives 0. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 1 plus 0 gives 1. 
and 1 plus 1 will give 1 0. Let me give you a tip here. Carry over 1 is shifted to the next place as it happens in decimal number addition. Example 1. Compute binary 1000 plus binary 111. 1000 plus 1110. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. And 1 plus 0 gives us 1. Example 2. Compute binary 11111 plus binary 1011. 11111 plus 01011. 1 plus 1 gives us 0 carrying 1. 1 plus 1 gives us 1 carry 1. 1 plus 0 gives us 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 gives us 1 carry 1. 1 plus 0 gives us 0 and 1. Okay, now we shall learn how to subtract binary numbers. The rules given in the table must be followed to perform binary subtraction. A minus B gives C. 0 minus 0 will be 0. 1 minus 0 will be 1. 1 minus 1 gives 0. And 0 minus 1 will give 1. With a borrow taken from next place. Okay students, note that the number is borrowed when 1 is subtracted from 0. That is 1, 0, minus 1 is equal to 1. Example 1. Adding the decimals we get 1111. Subtracting binary 1010 from binary 1111, we get binary 1010. Example 2. Compute binary 1100 minus binary 11. If we subtract binary 11 from binary 1100, we get 1 with borrow, 0 with a borrow, 0 and 1. Let us now find out how binary numbers are multiplied. The rules for performing multiplication using binary numbers are same as that of decimal numbers. The given table illustrates the multiplication of two binary digits. Example 1. Compute binary 101 multiplied by binary 11. 101 multiplied by 11. 1 into 1 gives 1. 1 into 0 gives 0. And 1 into 1 gives 1. Again, 1 into 1 gives 1. 1 into 0 gives 0 and 1 into 1 gives 1. Now adding, 1 plus 0 gives us 1, 0 plus 1 gives 1, 1 plus 0 gives 1 and 1. Example 2. Compute binary 1111 multiplied by binary 101. 1111 multiplied by 101. 1 into 1 gives 1, 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 0 into 1 gives 0, 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 and the last 1 into 1 gives 1, 1 into 1 gives 1, 1 into 1 gives 1. 1 into 1 gives 1. Now adding, we get 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 1 carry 1. 0 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. Carry 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1. A into B gives C. 0 into 0 will be 0. 0 into 1 will be 0, 1 into 0 will be 0, and 1 into 1 is 1. Okay, now let us find out how binary numbers are divided. The method to perform division of two binary numbers is same 
as that of decimal numbers. See the example given below. Example 1 Compute binary 110 divided by binary 10. Dividing binary 110 by binary 10, we get quotient 1 and remainder 01. For the next division, our dividend is binary 010. Dividing this by binary 10, we get quotient 1 and remainder 0. Example 2. Compute binary 10000111 divided by binary 1001. Division of binary 10000111 by binary 1001 gives us quotient 11110 and remainder 0000. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. The commonly used number system is decimal number system with a base 10. The binary number system consists of two digits, that is 0 and 1, and has the base 2. You can perform arithmetical operations on binary numbers. The octal number has the base 8. The hexadecimal number has the base 16.